Boy, has it been far too long since I made a newsletter video. I wanna say the last one would have been early December and it's February. So happy new year. Um, it's good to be back. I guess in case you forgot who I am, my name is John Major Condon and this is issue 166 of your React Native newsletter. I have some highlights for you starting with testing from React Native nightly builds. So this blog is written through the lens of maintaining Expo's SDK with the upcoming version of React Native and how to do so and why you would want to. Why you would want to test your library code against the nightlies of React Native is so that your library code works with the upcoming version of React Native, as well as it doesn't halt someone from upgrading to the latest version of React Native. Or I guess the dev could perhaps just patch your package and be on their way, but at the same point in time, uh, to emphasize the overall health of community packages, it's best to test against the nightlies of React Native so that there isn't that need to patch the package from the dev side. So if you are a maintainer of a library out there, check out this blog so you can learn how you can potentially test your library against the React Native nightlies. This next one is a quick one, but it's honestly probably my favorite type of highlight. And that is, it's an open source application. It's not an open source package, but it's an application. It's real world. You can dive right in, check out the philosophies of code style, naming conventions, packages, you name it. You can read the code, learn from the code, which is ultimately what we are here to do as React Native devs is learn from one another in this newsletter. So check it out. The open source application is from Expensify. Uh, so thank you for Expensify for creating this open source application for us. And as another form of learning is Chain React 2023. It's coming around the corner. It's in May. The CFP is open for you to go ahead and submit your talk idea. And this, if anything, is your cue to go figure out what that idea could be and go ahead and submit it. I'd love to see you at Chain React 2023 as a speaker, as a, a attendee. Um, but either way, I will be there. If you are a speaker, I will, I'll be cheering you on as well as taking photos of you while you deliver your amazing talk on stage. Hope to see you there, whether you are speaking or attending. Um, but I will catch y'all in the next newsletter video. Until then, Major out. Peace.